Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. These messages will be for couples and people who are in separation. They are general messages, so they will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So we're going to look at how your person feels, the action they plan on taking, the outcome of the relationship, and overall advice. So let's jump right into it and see how your person feels Leo I was going to say Leo Sagittarius I have not ready how the Sagittarius person feels I have pride how the Sagittarius person feels I have him how does Sagittarius person feels? Okay. I have boundaries and I have healing. Okay, so your person wants you, Sagittarius, but I heard like relationship. Um, this person may have recently gotten out of a relationship and so they have a wall up when it comes to their heart like they are blocking their heart um, they need to work on their heart chakra they're not fully open to being in a relationship um, for some of you I heard ego this person has like an ego yeah an issue with their ego um, they're very used to men women chasing after them so they're not fully ready for a commitment they're still kind of exploring their options playing the field so yeah this person definitely have some blockages up so whether they have an ego they're playing the field or they're not fully open to a relationship because they're healing from some disappointment this person is closed off when it comes to love so let's look at the action they plan on taking towards you Spirit, what does Sagittarius? Okay. I have the Queen of Swords. In the reverse, I have the Two of Swords. What action does Sagittarius person plan on taking towards them, Spirit? What plan does Sagittarius person? plans on taking okay I have the nine of cups I have the queen of pentacles let's get one more And I have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, this person, they're unstable. They're unstable, emotionally unstable right now because they're still healing from something from the past, from a past disappointment when it comes to a relationship. So they're unstable. Therefore, they cannot offer you anything that is stable right now. I really do feel like for someone, this person who you may be talking to, is just not ready they are healing yes they are like in shambles their heart is like broken in pieces right now like they're in the ten of swords energy and so yeah her like instability yeah this person is not going to be able to offer you anything that is stable um neither does this person plan on offering you anything that is stable that is secure um i heard like play with your emotions they may play with your feelings um they may kind of juggle you around, but they're not going to commit because right now they're not in a place where they're able to commit fully because they still are mending their heart. For others of you with this boundaries and queen of pentacles, this person, they see you as a come up. 
Like, they're going to try to use you. I heard, like, sugar mama, sugar daddy. This person is going to try to use you. I feel like with this boundary spirit is saying, like, no. Like, keep your wall up. Do not allow this person in. Um, I heard, like, spirit guides and ancestors. I feel like, Sagittarius, you have your spirit guides and your ancestors around you heavy right now when it comes to your relationships, the people that you allow in your life because of your status because of your abundance um your ability to manifest the things that you desire in life there's going to be a lot of people i heard like crumb snatchers who's going to try to come and take from you take all that they can or get as much as they can get but your ancestors your spirit guides they're on it i heard like team like your team is on it yes they're going to be letting you know left and right who is for you and who is not it's just all about you paying attention so i feel like for someone this person i heard mooch this person wants to come in and just take all that they can get and looking at him like for some of you this person is used to men and women being at their beck and call taking care of this person this person not really having to do much having to work for much using their looks to get what they want yes and they see you as a meal ticket so this person is in your life to use you and nothing more Sagittarius that's their goal that's the game plan I heard like scheming this person is scheming I feel like with this nine of cups this person is just happy doing what they do this person is happy doing what they do they don't feel any remorse at all for the things that they do to people yes i heard gigolo i believe r kelly sings that song yeah this person is a gigolo yes this person is content like this person is happy being non-committal like this person does not want a relationship whatsoever like they're happy doing what they do they're happy not being tied down yes they don't want to be tied down to anyone they just want to you know use people where they can use them for whether it's finances whether it's sex and just hit the road jack like they're out of there um i feel like with this two of swords and this pride someone this person is stuck they're not able to make up their mind about what they want to do like pride is getting in the way of them making a decision when it comes to this relationship yeah like i heard like let down their guard this person doesn't want to let down their guard when it comes to this connection yeah i heard like holding back this person is still holding back they are still holding back I also heard remorse for someone there's someone who feels remorse I heard who feels remorse for how they have treated you so for someone this person feels remorse for how they have treated you but it's like I heard like unapologetic this person won't apologize for the things that they have said or the things that they have done because of pride. Yeah, they're too prideful. And it's stopping them from making movement, from, you know, making a full decision when it comes to this relationship. Because they're too prideful. I heard hurt. Yeah, for someone, this person has hurt you before. But it's like their pride is standing in the way. Like they won't come down from the pride. Um, this person will not humble themselves whatsoever. Yeah, and I'm just looking at the blindfold. Like, this person is just blind. They can't see. They cannot see. They can't see what's good for them. Because they're all up in their head. They think they know everything. They think they know it all. But ultimately, they're just going to end up hurting themselves. So, I heard, like, no action. Inaction. In Sagittarius, no action is an action. So, this person... It's not going to take any action towards you. So that is an action. Like, <laughs> there it is. By this person not taking any action, then that's their decision. That means that they don't want to move forward with you. Now, with this not ready and queen of swords in the reverse, for someone, this person is absolutely not ready for a relationship 
whatsoever but like with this queen of swords in the reverse it's saying like even though they're not ready like as long as you allow them into your life like i heard like sleep with as long as you continue to sleep with this person they're going to take it like they're not going to turn you down so it's like as long as you continue to hold on to this person, knowing that they're not ready, knowing that they can't give you what you want when it comes to a relationship, they're not, they're not going to tell you no. They're going to continue to let you give of yourself, of your time, and of your energy. This person is going to continue to take advantage of you for as long as you allow it, Sagittarius. So let's look at the outcome of the connection. Spirit, what is the outcome for Sagittarius? What is the outcome? Okay. I have, this could be us if. It says understanding changes, influences communication. Let's get some more messages. What will be the outcome of this relationship? I have red flags, warning signs, patterns, slow down. Let's get two more messages. I have single, focused on self, money, selfish, enjoy single life, self-development. And let's pull one more. Power couple, his, hers, strong relationship, successful goal, goddess, divine partnership. Yeah, power couple, someone sees you as a meal ticket. Someone sees you as a meal ticket and they come up Sagittarius. Yes, you definitely need to set some firm boundaries with someone in your life, someone who you are in a relationship or someone who you are talking to or possibly dating. Yeah, this person sees you as a meal ticket. Again, with this single and this nine of cups here, like, like I said, this person is happy just being by themselves, not being tied down with anyone not being committed they want to move how they want to move they want to go when they want to go they don't want to have to answer to anyone it's like yeah this person is just happy being single and just playing the field so it's like the outcome is going to be this person is just going to continue to do what they have always done red flags pay attention Sagittarius yes there's a lot of red flags in this reading you're with someone who is just not ready for a relationship and you just have to accept things for what they are accept this person for who they are and just move on spirit has someone better waiting for you but you have to want better for yourself first and then it says this could be us if again playing games and going back to this not ready this person comes up with a lot of excuses that's what i'm that's what I'm getting, Sagittarius. This person, for some of you, comes up with a lot of excuses. They have an excuse for everything. Have an excuse of why you can't be in a relationship. Why they didn't call. Why they didn't respond to the text message. I mean, this person just has an excuse, excuse after an excuse of why. Why this didn't happen. Why they can't do this. So, as long as you allow it, it's going to continue. As long as you allow this person to keep giving you excuse after excuse, as long as you allow this person to take advantage of you, to take your kindness for a weakness, then it's going to continue. Ultimately, you are in control. You have the power to put an end to this situation. So let's pull some overall advice for you. So Spirit, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Cater to your body. With this message, Spirit says focus on yourself. You just really need to focus on yourself. That's the advice right now. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Do not be focused on this person. I have communicate in a way that can be heard and understood. Yes, 
boundaries set firm boundaries Sagittarius you have to say what you mean and mean what you say yes let people know <laughs> that you mean business and sometimes communication isn't always about speaking words it's just about pulling back your energy you know walking out the door and not coming back like yes that is communication that is speaking to someone that is saying that I am done so yes set boundaries firm boundaries when it comes to these connections let's pull some more messages i have pay attention to his morals what he values and his spirituality so yes don't just look at the outer appearance yes it looks good yes he may be looking like a snack she may be looking like a snack but listen it takes more than that to build a healthy relationship. Like what are they really bringing to the table when it comes to their morals, their values, their stability, their spirituality? Like do they really match you on all levels? Sagittarius, you have to be willing to look a little deeper. So let's get one final message. All right, I have turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Spirit is saying, when you give of yourself, be a cheerful giver. Give with gratitude, give with grace. However, with that in mind, make sure that whoever you are giving to with gratitude and grace, that they are returning that same gratitude and grace to you. So yes, Sagittarius, it's okay to give. It's okay to nurture. It's okay to love. But you have to make sure that whoever you're giving to, whoever you're pouring into Sagittarius, they're pouring right back into you. They're giving that same energy, that same time, that same effort back to you i heard over giving for some of you you have an issue with over giving of yourself and, and that is how people can come in and take advantage of you because they see you as someone who's desperate you have to get rid of that energy and realize that the only person you need is yourself and once you realize like the only person that you need is yourself you don't need anyone else you can say goodbye today and mean it then that is when people will start treating you differently once you respect yourself and you set clear boundaries then you will teach people how to treat you and then they will respect you as well so yes give with gratitude and grace some of you are over giving and you need to make sure that whoever you're giving to that they're giving that same energy back to you so Sagittarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.